Yes, I'm back. I'm back, baby. Ooh, yes, it is fucking freezing. It is fucking freezing here, guys. 52 skulls. We're going to 53 today. We're definitely going to do it. Mm-mm-mm. Just give me a second. I'll have to do my refreshes real quick. Make sure everything's all good. My browser has been like crashing like non fucking stop, so I have to make sure. Make sure everything's all good. How's everyone doing? How's everyone doing? Everyone that watches the VRD, how you doing? How you doing? Everyone on YouTube, leave a comment. Say how you doing, man. If you're already playing the game, I want to see what you guys got. If you versed me in the game, uh, just let me win. Just let me win. <laughs> just, just, uh, there's no bullshitting. Just let me win. <laughs> Okay, I'm fucking hungry. I haven't eaten all day. That's always going to be the case, too, especially streaming at this time. This is dinner time, technically, for everyone. But I need uh, fuck. What should I? What should I get, Julian? Smoking Joe's? Oh, if you get Smoking Joe's, you're gonna make me get Smoking Joe's. Mm. I still like. Um, I still want to try and do like that New Yorker on my own. New Yorker, M meat lovers. Ah, that's too mu too much. Ooh, here we go. Here, this is what I was waiting for. Five o'clock. This is why I think it's the perfect time to stream. Because I get to see what uh, extra bonuses are we get. Ooh, meat wagon, meat wagon. Meat wagon. Damn, I was hoping it was going to be cash. Because uh, I got 450 gold. And I want to pick up the meat wagon talent. Hmm. Let's go with the healer. Now we're just gonna go. So I'm actually gonna. Ooh, now I'll, I'll work on the footman. 281 exp. That's fucking huge. That is fucking huge. Just give me a sec, guys. We'll get started in a couple minutes. Uh, I'm just gonna get Discord and post my shit because I forgot to do that already. So I'm back to actually using the in-game music because of the copyright shit on uh, YouTube. So I'm just back to using this shit until I find something that can do for both. Oh, did you get uh, cease and desist? No, 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 no. It's just that um, all the pain, like, like the creators of the music will get ownership over pretty much the video of the like when oh, it comes in from ads and shit. That. So yeah, yeah, it's fucking annoying, but it's alright. I'm not earning anything yet on YouTube, so that's okay. That's fine. Um, but yeah. So that's that. That's that. Um, I'm just going to pop onto Reddit real quick too, actually. Give me a second. Reddit, then I'm going to organize food, and then we're going to get into the gaming, yeah? Should probably start a poll with chat saying like, um, it's like, oh, what should I get for dinner? Fuck no. No one dictates what I eat. <laughs> Ain't nobody dictating yeah. what I'm eating. I'll dictate what you eat. No. You eat my ass. How about that? Eat my ass. <laughs> I'm glad no one heard that. Now nah, they're gonna hear it. The people watching VOD, you're gonna hear it. No shit. Forgot about um, VOD. So what is this ads link? Here we go. that real quick on the Discord. Oh no, I've already uh, read it. Okay, dismiss. Blah, 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 blah. Okay, I'm just gonna order food as well, guys. I'm just fucking, I'm hungry, man. 
Fucking hungry. What are you good? What day is it today? What are you getting? I'm not here yet. Maybe smoking Joe's. Today's Wednesday, right? Yep. Wednesday. I'm like losing I'm it. You know how quick fucking everything goes. Um. Oh, by the way, Jules, uh, Jules, next week we're paying for the uh, the next. Yeah, me... There's two film festivals next next week. So Friday, I think. Oh, sorry, Friday, uh, Thursday. Uh, Tuesday, sorry. Tuesday. Yes, uh, you did mention that to me. Hello. Hello, morning. Dark... Hey, Darkness, how you doing, man? Darkness Wave. That's cool. I like that. <laughs> Okay, I'll just go quickly order. Yeah, fuck it, smoking Joe's. Because that's gonna take like an hour to get here, anyways. Fuck, you can clean my glasses there, like fucking dirty as shit. Dirty as do shit. Do in New Yorker, so then I can have some. No. Yes. No, I can't do New Yorkers, man. Yes, do it. I can't do it, man. Do it. Can't see, I'm blind. Mm. Uh, we're gonna go with footman here. I'll just get that ready, get it loaded up. Ready to go. Yes, 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 yes. Just give me a quick sec, guys. Just a quick sec. You're not working tomorrow, Jules, are you? Uh, what's tomorrow? Tomorrow's Thursday. Nah, I'm good. Oh, good. Because after the stream, we just got to discuss all the other shit. I watched all your videos from start. Uh, from the start, I take a lot of EXP. Thanks, man. Shit, you watched all of them? Holy shit, that's hours and hours. That's like days, man. Holy fuck. Yeah, you, you, you can see how quick it is at the start, but then later on, you get, like once I hit, I think, 30 or 40 skulls, it got real grindy. Like, really, really grindy. It was very difficult. All of them, fuck it out. What should I get? What, what should I get, man? Pizza or pasta? Pizza, pasta, or parmigiana? <sighs> nah, get the parmesan. Oh, they increased the prices. The bloody fucking bar. What? No, don't tell me that. Yeah, the grilled grilled tenders are now seventeen dollars, seventeen dollars ninety instead of sixteen dollars ninety. Fuck. That's bullshit. Right, everyone's feeling it. Um, That's not fair. Yeah, it's bullshit. Um, what should I get? What should I get? What should I get? Ooh. Mm. How how are they out of stock for lasagna? Oh, you'd be surprised. Like, um, now KFC need to use an alternative to freaking lettuce because there's a shortage of it. <laughs> They're using cabbage in their burgers now. Do <laughs> the cabbage? You on the Russian KFC? It's not even chicken anymore. <laughs> uh, we are now using dog. <laughs> no. Oh no. Oh, uh, grilled tenders? Nah, I really like Joe's Palmer still, man. You know what? I'm just gonna go with Joe's Palmer. Joe's Parmesan. Uh, what should I get? Mm, actually, no. No, no, no. I'm gonna go grill, grilled tenders. I want some barbecue sauce, man. Sign signature barbecue sauce with that. Getting hungry, I'm gonna make everyone hungry when the I'm drooling, man. Man, I need a drink. <laughs> Shit. <laughs> I'm getting myself fucking hungry. Well, I am. Man, I'm getting hungry. I'm getting hungry just freaking you talking about it. Mmm. Back off. <laughs> <laughs> um. Yeah, so that comes with chips and all that shit. Uh, what, what desserts do I need? Do I need dessert? Actually, yeah, what desserts do they do? Uh, Nutella pizza? Nah, not gonna do that. I, I feel like just like uh, churros. Yeah, churros are not bad. Do they do any like mousse or things or something like that? Yeah, I can fuck mousse. Chocolate mousse, man. It's like six bucks, man. I ain't buying that shit. Nah, fuck. For a you small container of mousse? I don't want that. No. You can go to bloody uh, Coles or Woolies and get like, you know, for five bucks, you can get like a big ass tub. Yeah, I know. I still got to cook later tonight too, like, I'm, cause my, I fucked my sleeping pattern, so I got to cook all this, uh, food for the week. 
for myself so I don't have to order food. But right now I'm fucking hungry. I am fucking hungry, man. I literally woke up at like 2 o'clock today. And uh, I was supposed to be working on emotes. And I fucking, because all I did, I went to sleep at 4 o'clock in the morning, guys. 4 o'clock in the morning. I was in a fucking film meeting till 4 o'clock in the fucking morning, right after streaming. And then I didn't wake up because every, I didn't wake up till like 2 o'clock in the afternoon because everyone kept calling me in the fucking morning. So I couldn't fucking sleep. So I kept waking up, picking up the phone, wake up, pick up the phone, check messages. Uh, it was fucking annoying. <coughs> Oh, Julian, did you know there's a game coming out in three hours? Uh, the Cycle? Oh, that's that one you told me to look into, didn't yeah, you? Yeah, free to play. It's like Escape from Tarkov. I'll, pro I'll be playing it after the stream. Okay, I might as well get onto it as well. Yeah, I'm going to download it well. Oh, I probably won't download it while I'm streaming and shit like that, though, because it's going to fuck the stream. But That's okay. I'll, I'll download it for you. Oh, really? Oh, really? You're going to bring it over yeah. the hard drive? Oh, yeah. I'll, I'll walk there. Oh, you, oh what? You're going to walk there? Yeah, yeah, good. Yeah, walk. 100%. Walk. Do it. I want to see you do it. Oh, you can't download it. No, 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 you can't pre-download. Oh, son of a fuck. But you can download it at 8 o'clock. Uh. Similar games to it. Payday 2, Counter-Strike. Uh, it's more like Tarkov. Hmm. More like Tarkov. Oh, that's, that's a good, that was a game I enjoyed So there's Payday. permanent death with a character. If you die, you die. But you... You have a box that you can keep, like, loot that you want. Mm -hmm. So that carries on to the next character until oh, you yeah. lose it, until you accidentally not put it in there. Um, but I, I want to give it a go, man. Like, I'm, I'm keen for another FPS game. Well, I've hackers in it. Because right now, I don't think there's been hackers at all in this game. It's PvP oh. VE. So. Well, I was waiting for um a day before. And that was supposed to come out this month, but then uh, the developer. Oh, is that the zombie one? Yeah, it's the one that's like, uh, like I uh, told you, it's like Division with State of Decay. It's, that's what it reminds me of. Oh, okay. Yeah, the developers pushed the release to not this year, but now next year in no. June. Well, uh, you can you can only assume for the better. Oh no, of course, if it's for the better, then you know, fantastic, good on. You know, I'm all I am all for developers taking their time. All to get a game to, to um, perfect the game, but if they take all that time and it comes up with a shit game, then you know they deserve all the backlash that comes their way. <laughs> That's why Ashes of Creation has like a like it better be good or people are gonna be so fucking pissed. Like it'll, they'll they'll be crucified, hundred percent, hundred percent crucified if it's not good. Yeah, it will happen. It will happen. I really want Ashes of Creation to be really good. I want a new MMO. I, like, I really like WoW, but I want a new MMO. I want not like, New World was okay, but then it just fuck man, it fucked up bad. New World. Yeah, I remember playing New World. Jesus, <laughs> like, I wouldn't mind going back to New World in the future. It's just, but not right now. I ain't going back to that. No way. Even, they, they can make all the changes they want. Man. I want to see like. It was like DayZ. DayZ used to be really cool. It was really good, and then it was really shit, and then it was really good. Because the amount of hackers that got involved in the game. So... Um, yeah, it's... Fuck, man. There's some games that are shit. But... I fucking hate this boss, too. I hate this one. For the epic one, I feel like I'm not doing anything. Fucking Honestly, this, this is gonna shit. This is gonna be really bad. It's gonna be really bad, you know. I'm not, I'm not, I'm not gonna waste time. Uh, I'm just gonna give the EXP to something else. Good morning, fucking. Yeah. I'm just gonna turn on the light so the delivery driver knows where the fuck they're going. How's everyone doing? Hey, how's everyone doing? Oh, 53 skulls! Let's do it. Are you flexing? <laughs> you fucking. 
Mm -hmm. Okay, so you know what? I'm not gonna level up Calm Blood Hoof ever because uh, that was a waste of money, but waste of coin. Sorry. I'll, I'll get the vultures out. Let's just do it. Let's just fuck it. We're gonna go straight into actually fighting the next boss too. By the way, guys, we're gonna go through the progression. But tomorrow we get to do Diamol again. Yay, Diamol! Diamol is fucking easy for me, especially like, especially for me. It's super fucking easy. Um, that being said, tomorrow might be hell, <laughs> depending on the level of it. It might change. We have to get good items to make it perfect. Wait, what is this level? Oh, no, man. I went from one bad level to another. And I don't have the right starting units. That's bad. Let's see if we'll see what we can do. Oh wait, oh, they don't have a... Uh, they still have the same pyromancer, but they don't have uh, It does not look like they have proper units. Let's hope there's no footmen. There's obviously going to be vultures, but that's not going to be a problem for me. Oh shit, sappers, that's going to be a problem. Shit. That's going to be a problem. Oh, we killed one of them. That was perfect. That was perfect, actually. Batrider. Okay, so this this will be okay. This will be okay. I mean, I'm not too fast about this. We should be able to get through this. Still hasn't summoned vultures yet. Yes! Okay, now we're set up to kill. Oh, you sad sack of Oh! Oh! That was pretty cool and scary. Oh, now the vultures finally come out. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, you're a sack of shit. Lucky I got the fucking uh, talent to actually wipe out all these units, man. So I'm not too worried. Should kill the boss. By the way guys, there is an actual website, it's called arclightbase.com slash builder. So those of you guys that are actually fantasizing what builds to actually make and shit like that, that's a good website to, to use. So, you can take your fantasy uh, draft and see and see what it looks like in, you know, in the deck builder. So you guys can actually do this. Uh, I'll link that into the, uh, into the chat. So, you can, it's, it's, it's a little, it's a little bit weird to use at the moment. You just got to click on the, posi on the spot first and then the unit to apply, uh, that position. So, and then you can build your deck that way. Um, I'm, they'll be working on it a little bit more, but yeah, th this is a good way to actually do it. Um, and you can just fantasize build. You can fantasy build. You can see what it could be, like what you want to get and you can just look at it. You know, you can look at it and see if it, like, what, how it could work, you know? Hunk OC, thanks for the follow, man. But yeah, um, but yeah, I think that website's actually really good to, uh, just see what it can look like on paper, if you get what I mean. Like, what your builds look like. Um, the tier list is something completely different, that's just your own personal preferences, but this is where you can actually do your deck building, man. So, it's really nice, really, really nice. 
I'm gonna hope, right? Because there's, it feels like there's a slot for a sixth hero, a sixth uh, race. I'm gonna try so hard to see and just put forth the conversation of adding legion, legion units into this. How's it going, brother? Man, I'm going good, man. How are you? Sogerman, uh, if I, if only I had a game. <laughs> if only I had a game. Um. Yeah, nah, man, like, yes, I do feel that Legion as a race would be fucking crazy in this. That would be something completely different, right? Well, I feel like that would be sick. That would be absolutely sick. Do you do you reckon that they would add a lot of um, reanimation to dead units? With it? For Legion? Mm. Nah, just be demons. Um... Mm. Good morning, Tesfina. How you doing, man? Um, yeah, fuck. I, you know what's funny? On release, when this game releases, I'm actually going to do the opposite of what I said. If I see Sneed, I'm picking up Sneed. If I'm seeing uh, Chalga, I'm going to pick up Chalga. Why? Because I'm a glutton for punishment. I just, I just want to do, do everything the hard way. But technically, it's not. I don't feel like it's the hard way, using those heroes. I just want to use that or Jaina as well. I want... I'm, the heroes that I want to use, because now that I've actually played Grom properly, I think Grom is the middle of the ground overall good. Tyrion is very strong, obviously. Baron is super strong, but I've I've managed to beat every fucking one of them. It just depends on the build, and that's end of talents. Is this game sort of like Clash of Clans? Just found out about it last week, and I couldn't believe Australia was closed beta for region for once. Ah no, I know. Actually, Path of Exile was closed beta. And Alpha for uh, Australia and New Zealand as well. So that was another game that had, uh, oh, yeah, had right. access to like as well. So yeah. Um, is it like Clash of Clans? Uh, it's like Clash Royale, not Clash of Clans. Um, so Clash Royale, yes. It's like it in the PvP standpoint. Uh, standpoint For the PvE, it's completely different. It's a different game altogether. Isn't Australia beta for everything? I can remember Catan World Explorer. Yeah, the like... Because here's the thing, Australia sort of gets shafted on a lot of servers, and a lot of games. Uh, why can't I drag a leader on the site? Yeah, no, so you can't drag him over. So what you do is you click in the slot of what you want to apply, and then you click at the hero. And then if you want a unit, click on the, on the, on the slot where you want the unit. You just click on the slot, and then you click the unit that you want. So, it's, it's still rough, it's still... That website, I, I I haven't created it. I can't remember. I think someone in my clan has created it, but um, it's still a work in progress. But this is sort of like a good standpoint to, uh, you know, share drafts and you know, and stuff like that. And what you guys can actually do right now is create a draft, link it to me in chat, and I'll I'll have a look at it on stream. But we won't do that today. Uh, we'll do that Friday, because Friday, because it's like the last stream of the week for me, I sort of like want to talk more about the game and stuff like that per week, and I want to talk about drafting, and I want to talk about issues and the stuff that I do like about the game, so I'll leave that always on a Friday, because Friday, because tomorrow is about the dungeon that always comes out, Thursdays is the dungeon, you know, uh, six hours, so it's, so literally, literally tomorrow, we get to progress through the dungeon on on screen uh, on stream. Today it's about boss progression. Um, Fridays are just like there's nothing because there's nothing else to really do. Maybe we can kill one boss, but I doubt it all the time. Like just looking at my track record, that means we just spend time doing a bit of PvP on Fridays and try to do a little bit of boss progression, and then we look at builds. We look at builds. We look at tier lists. We look at all that shit. Can you explain dungeons? So dungeons is a, a gauntlet. So a gauntlet of three bosses. Um, and if you can't beat all three bosses in the one go, the dungeon level decreases. So imagine like mythic dungeoning. If you can't beat the dungeon, it decreases. If you beat the dungeon, the level increases. And it keeps going, and that's how you farm Valor. Valor, that's that, the, the skull, that, well, the, sorry, the helmet up here, 180. So, uh, so yeah. Oh yeah, this this Saturday I'm doing a test stream. I'm doing a test stream. I just want to like uh, say hello to the people that don't really get to see the stream. I just want to say hello to them, and I'll see if it's 
worthwhile doing an early morning stream. For me, it's early morning. For everyone else, it could be late, late night. But um, it's not buy, buy to win or pay to win. No, it's not pay to win. This game is... Uh, so here, you, you can have a look at the shop real quick. So every Sunday, this refreshes. You can only get one coin pouch and you can only get two coin chests per week. You can only get two EXP tomes per week. Um, that's per week. That's not going to increase substantially. You, you, you can't really do that much with this. Um, because, you know, the units cost 350 each, the talents cost 500 each, the uh, heroes cost 400 each. Um, I mean, you could, but are you going to be better than me in PvP? Most likely you won't, because you still got to get everything else. And it's very limited on what you can do per week. So... The only advantage you can get over everyone else is buying the boost at the, at the very beginning. Buying the boost, so I have the boost, but I'm struggling still in the game. In PvP, I'm struggling in the fucking PvP still, because there are people in PvP that still have better builds than me. So you can put as much money as you want. Like, I, I see it like Hearthstone. You can put thousands of dollars into Hearthstone, it does not make you a better, play, a better player. Just because you have the same deck as someone else, like a top tier player, doesn't mean that you're a better player. Because you, your decision making is going to be different to other people's. And how the way you play. You can make mistakes. This game is about not making mistakes. Just like Hearthstone. You can't make a mistake. If there's a position to kill, you go for the kill. If, you know, it's, it's all like Clash Royale. Defend when you need to. Attack when you need to. And don't worry about trying to wipe out the person in one go. Like, just take your time with it in PvP. As much as you can. Unless you do have a rush build. But yeah. People can post their builds on Reddit to, uh, to keep it more alive. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Post on Reddit to keep it more alive. Don't, yeah, don't worry about the chat. Just post it in Reddit. That's a good one. Uh, post it in Reddit and I'll have a look at it and shit like that. Because uh, the Reddit is sort of like not dying down lately, but it won't die. Like, it, like if your posts are going to be there, they're going to be there forever. So you might as well post there and I can look at it. I can get to it. I can check it off stream as well too. So, you know, we can do that shit. But yeah. All right. Let's get to some progression. Yeah, 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 bro. Ooh, we're so close with the Frostful Shaman, though. Mm. Okay, so what we're going to do today is... Uh, so last night, we had a look at the uh, Mastoral General. We had a look at him. We had a... a yeah, General Kolbatan. Uh, we're not going to do that. <laughs> Flight of the Whelps we saw two days ago. And we're not going to do that. Because that seems like hell. Azurus? Seems like hell. Absolute hell to get through. But Winter Saber Ambush? I feel... This will be difficult, but this, uh, even if we have to spend five hours on Shiro Tam today, it just means I feel like we can, we can do it tomorrow. I have, like, our units are the right levels for this. And by the way, I don't need Shield Bash for this. Shield Bash will not win this fight. Uh, I got a feeling that it will be uh, Shield Spike for this. So, how the way this boss works is... If one of them is getting attacked, the other will leap over and do a heavy AoE damage and wipe out all your units. So that means you can't cheese. You can't cheese these bosses at all. But what you can do is if you don't have any units to play on either side, then you use your ambush units. You use your ambushing units, uh, which are the... Uh, sorry, what's it called? The Unbound, right? You use Unbound. So, we're going to attempt this today. I feel like this should be okay. This lineup still, no matter what I feel. But if not, we might have to change one of them. We might have to change Living Bomb to the Skeleton Party. For good reasons. But we'll see. We'll, we'll, let's, let's just have a look. Most likely, we're going to try and do this for an hour. And then we have to configure our lineup against Shai Rotam. Shai Rotam. You Let's sound so animated when you're saying it like that. Huh? You sound so animated when you're saying it like that. Oh, I am. I am. Okay. Let's see what it looks like now. Huh? Ooh, there's troll hunters at the back. I forgot about that. So, Dark Speed Trolls at the back. Oh, by the way, you can't kill those guys, too. You, you can't, because they're on a little cliff, you can't attack them, you can't spawn anything on them, 
You can use, you can try to use magic, but I'm pretty sure it doesn't affect them. But we'll give it here. We'll see what we can do. Um, so it is very crucial to, to actually have both of these. And I'm just trying to figure out how I'm going to do that. Okay, we never know until we try. Let's just show We need to figure out what units they're going to bring to the field. Shit. Very good match. Basically, troll turrets. Yeah, 100%. Basically, troll. Exactly. That's exactly what it is. Fuck, that is strong. I feel like I'm just gonna work on one tower for now. Oh my god. Oh, that's so dangerous. What am I gonna do? So we saw the Ogre Man. Alright, if I split my army. I'm going to see what happens if I don't split my army. I just want to see what happens if I just go for one fucking tower. This is my first viewing of this game too, by the way, bro. Oh man, you're going to you're gonna, you're gonna be in so much fun. So right now, so at this point in time, I'm sort of almost fin I've almost finished the game. Almost as in like there's only like 12 bosses left for me. Um, but those 12, 12 bosses are going to be the hardest motherfuckers to get through because the last two to three weeks In the first week of this game, I progressed regions very quickly. I, I was It was only when I got to 30 skulls. Once I got to 30 skulls, then it became a uh, grind uh, There was a map with murlocs on barrels and you're able to kill them. Yeah, yeah, that's because they're on barrels. Yeah uh, This they're on cliffs. They're on actual cliffs. Sorry, but we'll see if it's the same or not. Okay, what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna spawn him because I'm knowing that fucker comes out. I don't think he's gonna be one. The idea is about getting stuck. The idea of this game is to get the right cycle, get the right beginning, knowing what the right beginning is, and it's trial and error. Until you can get to a point where, how the way you know you're going to beat the boss is if the boss is not killing your units too quickly and you're getting them down by a quarter HP at the beginning. If you, if you can do that, then you know you can beat the boss. It's only if there's a mechanic that activates, like a second phase, and then that completely throws you out of whack, then maybe, then maybe you can't do it. But yeah, we'll see. We'll see what the best way to go about this game, about this map. So that's always going to spawn. I'm going to see if I can be super fucking quick on the draw. If I can get my unit out super fucking quick, I want to see if that makes a difference. If not, then that's always going to be the beginning. So Thin, also, how you doing, man? So Thin, sorry? So Thin, how you doing? Um, also, if you want to see uh, back progress, you can always go back on the VODs and just watch early days of when we're playing. Yeah. Uh, are there any metal builds to follow to make things easier for you or not? Uh, there are some things like that, depending on the hero that you're using, depending on what leader. There are certain things you want to do and want to focus on. Uh, other than that, there is no meta at the moment. There, is, there are just leaders that have that are very skilled in one thing that no other leader can do. So you gotta try and utilize that. But out of everyone's builds, there may be three to four units that are the same for everyone, only because that's preferred. Then the two units will make the difference. And then it's uh, the talents that make the difference with everyone. So it's not really, uh, there's not really, there's, they'll, I don't think there'll ever be a meta, um, like a real meta. Uh, is this game too early yet? Oh, it is, oh, it's, it's closed beta, so it's, it's complete for PvE. The PvP and the rating is not in though. So uh, I guess PvE is not fully complete. But the rating's not in yet. Which is co-op. With your guildies and shit like that. And then there could be like PvP. There could be like two, 2v2 PvP. And tournaments on the weekends and shit like that. Like, you know, there'll be all that other shit. But yeah, we'll see. And there'll obviously ladder rankings. Rankings and so on and... All that shit's not going to happen again. Quick on the draw. 
No. I won't be able to be quicker than them. So this is what I'm gonna Can I defeat these two? And push one side immediately. And just cut the damage. Keeping going that way. Can I cut the damage? Because I know the Murlocs are gonna spawn. Come on, go, 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 go. Because I know the Murlocs and all that shit are gonna spawn very soon. Oh, they spawned on the right side this time. But I do have a tower. Okay, that's a good sign. It's just this part here. This is the part that I'm not sure. I don't have enough gold in here. Can I survive it? So, I'm just gonna send only the footmen. Ooh, how am I gonna do that? Really? How am I really gonna do that? Sounds good. I'll keep you for, for a first timer. Yeah, man. Um, ah, yeah, it's, it's gonna be interesting. But yeah, I will be racing to 60 in this, though. There will be, there will be people, like right now there's a dude that knows what he's doing. He's, he's ready, he's gotten up to Onyxia. I'm not sure if he's been on Onyxia yet. I think he's stuck. So, but I'll be doing the same thing. I'm gonna fucking race to 60. And I'm gonna try and do it with a hero that people are not gonna see me. <laughs> like, wouldn't assume that I'll do it with. But I'm gonna see if I can do it. I reckon I could. I just gotta do it that correctly, that's all. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna get the ogre to start attacking and then I'm gonna use this motherfucker. Instead, see if that makes a difference. Cause that tower's gonna go no matter what, then he's gonna back him up against the harpies. The harpies should be coming out soon. There's the harpies, so I do have a troll hand hunter there to actually get through it, so that's fine. They also have, see the shield spikes? That's doing work, man, shield spikes doing work. I'm gonna do it this way, because we now have the tower. Now all this shit should spawn soon. They haven't spawned yet. They haven't, okay, fuck, they haven't spawned yet. I have to attack both at the same time. Because this will happen, ready? See, if they, if, now they're engaged, ooh. This is gonna be difficult, man. Okay, I'm gonna work on this one. Now, I'm just gonna see what I can do. Let's go here, let's do there. I'm just gonna set it up for the kill. If I can actually beat this manga, that'd be fucking hilarious. I think the idea is just to hold and protect the towers until I'm ready to assault. Then once I am ready to assault, then we go for it. Oh shit, what am I doing? Oh, wrong button! I said, I fucking used the wrong button. Oh, see that? He was about to come over and destroy me. We might have to restart, but I just want to see like what else gets spawned here. I got a feeling that we can do this. Honestly. I actually think we can do this today. Starting on the footman on the very left hand side is actually perfect. Because uh, those units didn't really come out to do anything. Fuck until that happens. Okay, you know what? Because I fucked up with the living bomb. I fucking threw it for no reason. But yeah. Let's just do it again. I'm not sure if living bomb, I'm actually going to use it in this fight. I got a feeling, oh, I don't need it. I feel like uh, I need Bat Rider here. I need his AoE. Cheap AoE. That's what I need. Because I got a feeling the Batrider will actually kill the troll, uh, Dark Sea Trolls behind the bosses. Let's see if I can get that off quickly. Yeah, that's all. Yeah. Um, control. So I'm actually going to try and do this as far as possible. As soon as he starts attacking. Because if I don't do it while he's attacking, he's going to turn and kill the troll. Okay, that's fine. They're going to die to the shield spikes. Ooh, chickens came out! This gives me a good time to actually do this. That was actually really good, because that didn't happen before, because I didn't spawn anyone else. Because I tried to put the Worgen onto the boss, but you know what's funny? They're not actually reacting quickly. They're not reacting quick enough. I'm going to try to get rid of this. Damn it. Okay. 
that will be defending. Fine, fine. That'll be fine. It's once I go birth these towers, I'm, I'm pretty sure I'll be fine. Once I go birth them. Uh, because I don't have to worry about shit coming down the middle. Because I can just use a way to get them. Oh, fuck. Fuck the See, they're going to come down the middle, but it's not going to be a big deal. Oh, they're going to come for me. So just for now, I'm getting these chests, I need to make sure. Oh, that living bomb would have been perfect right there. I do have to still worry about that. Ooh. That's interesting. They're actually not beating them. They're not killing them. As in, like, they didn't kill them in one shot. I got a feeling I can actually tank them. And get a healer. And use Batrider. As well. I don't need the Stonehold Torrent. But by the looks of it. Here we go. Big fucking bomb. Big fucking bomb. Oh, I missed it. It was too slow. Too fucking slow. You know, I'm, I'm swapping my units out. I believe I can actually uh, survive that. With a healer, I can survive that shit. Easy. For sure. I reckon we can do it today. I was worried about this boss, but now I'm actually uh, all good. I'm actually fine with it. It's just the next boss. I just know the whelp one is, is not going to be fun. It's going to have to be like almost all range units. But I will have the talent for the meat wagon, so that could be different. Like, who knows? Who knows what we can do? I just need one boss win. Only need one. What did I order again? <laughs> grilled tendons, I think. I think grilled tendons, I think. Yum, yum, yum. Okay, I'm swapping out, swapping out units, so I, he's not going to do shit in this fight. Uh, the living bomb. Mm, this is difficult, because I could go living bomb. I could. Nah. I'm actually going to go with Batrider. Yeah, this seems better. Because I'll be consistently putting damage on both. So I can, if I capture both towers and I focus on one side, I think we're all good. Let's do it. I reckon we can beat this boss. Five hour stream. That means we've got four hours to beat the boss. I feel like that this is the lineup that's going to do it. This will be the lineup. Bye. Didn't turn to attack, you fucking lazy fuck. That lazy piece of shit. That's right, I'll cop the damage. We'll just see. This time I'm getting healed down though, so that's the difference. I'll go this way. Then we get actually we, we actually get to see what it looks like too. Yeah, I do have to get rid of the uh, mountain. I can't let him live. 
Okay, this is much more smoother. Much smoother. Blizzard! No! Murdad Nova, 666. Thanks for the follow, man. Okay, we're saving up because we're gonna do a big fucking push here. Right? We're gonna do a big fucking push. Okay, we're just gonna leave it like that. And now we're gonna go on this side and we're gonna do the same fucking thing. Okay, so while they're doing that. Maestro, thanks for the follow, man. Now that they're doing that, let's build up this side. I think he just wiped out everyone. He just wiped out- No, he didn't wipe out everyone. He's coming in for the charge again. We're doing damage, boys. We're fucking doing damage here. He's getting fucked up, man. Oh, this is looking real good. Yes, yes, yes. Oh, we're still burning. We're burning away, man. That's what I want to see. That's what I want to fucking see. He's still going! He's not getting hit! He's still fucking going! One of them's about to die! Oh! <laughs> oh shit! It's over! We won! This is it! Fuck, this is quick! Holy shit! I didn't fucking expect that, man! Oh my god, that was fucking easy, man! Holy shit! Use the Bat Rider on this. Use fucking Bat Rider on this boss. Fuck, I thought we were gonna struggle. What was that, like, two or three attempts only with the lineup that we needed? Fuck, that was good, man. That was fucking awesome. You know what that means, guys? Meat wagon talent. Hey, Genesel, found your stream on Reddit. Thanks, man. Oh, good, man. I'm trying to keep it active and all that shit, so... Yeah. GG easy? This boss was. Don't get me wrong. This boss was. For me, apparently. Uh, but I was stuck on many other bosses for weeks. Well, it would be like days. Like, he'd like, just fucking... You can check it out in my VODs and shit like that, man. My previous fucking VODs, you'll see. Like, I was stuck for a long time for on a few bosses. But yeah. But yeah, I couldn't believe how easy this one was. I thought... I thought one of them would jump over and AoE destroy everyone. But by using Footmen, I copped no damage. And I was able just to burn the motherfuckers out. With the, but, but my Bat Rider had the talent for the big AoE as well, so that's like different too, right? So... Okay, here we go. See, I would go this, Living Bomb, but I'm saving it for later because that's not necessary right now. What I do need is Meat and Bones, because there will be boss fights where I do need it. And PvP, I need this fucking thing. Uh, let's buy it, boys. Let's buy it. Ooh, exciting. And we got the EXP as well, the uncommon EXP on top of it. Oh, shit. We won't try it out right now. We've got all the time we want to try that out. Uh, what we will do though is... Ooh. Okay, so what we're going to do is... Uh, well, okay, so you know what? We're going to do this. We'll do this first. I'll buy this right now uh, to get over and done with. Because I want to see what the next one is. What's that? What's that? Brilliant flow, that's the stun. No, I don't want that. Man. I don't want that. No, I don't really want to see that shit. I want the fucking big AoE one. That's okay. We're, we're in a good position here to get what we want. Um, just signed up for the beta myself. Uh, this is me my first time trying a strategy game coming from a first person shooter, CSGO, Valorant background. Uh, so, got no clue on it on this game other than the Warcraft lore. Yeah. Yeah, I come from, I, I originally come from an RTS background, um, but I moved on to uh, I got everything, everything game. I think my food's here, give me, give me.
Got some food, baby. Got some food, baby. Yeah. Salad. I'll eat that later. <laughs> uh, yum, yum, yum. Who was here when I got those shitty pizzas? <laughs> the fucking one, like two inch fucking pizza shit. It was fucked up. Some fucking yummy logs of shit. Not just kidding, they're churros. But, ooh, yum yum. Look at this shit, baby. And this, ooh, I love this shit, man. Look at it. Ooh. That's like grilled chicken tenders and fucking chips, man. Y'all getting hungry? I'm fucking hungry, man. Actually, I need a fork. <laughs> Give me a sec. I was gonna grab a fork and then we're gonna move on to the next boss. 53 skulls. Fuck, man, we're getting close, man. We're getting close. Okay, I'm, I'm worried about Flight of Whelps. I am actually worried about that. I feel like we're gonna be stuck in that. So we all know what the fucking easiest boss is in Winter Spring. It's Winter Saber Ambush. That was the least amount of time I've spent on a boss thus far at this high level. And then I think, so yeah, Winter Saber Ambush. That's the first. When I get back to this one, when the game comes out, I'll be going for that. Then I'll fight the Frost Whisper, Whisper Gorge. Then Ursa Major, then Flight of Whelps, and then the other one when it actually comes out. Fruit looks heaps delicious. Oh. Mmm. I'm fucking. I haven't eaten all day. I barely ate last night as well. Like as soon as I finished streaming, I had to um just go straight into meetings. Mmm. Oh, right, this this fight's gonna be fucking bullshit. So I'm eating ASMR for you boys at the same time. This is gonna be bullshit. I just oh we need them we definitely need meat wagon here. Watch this bullshit guys. I'm just gonna get my ass the entire time. I don't think there's gonna be anything that I can do about it. Blood, honor, most oh fuck. This bone shoes. Oh fuck. Please stop. I don't know how we're gonna get through this shit. I have no idea how the fuck we're gonna get through this one. I'm already happy we actually got some progression today. Holy shit. And it only took like the first hour of the stream. Well, less than that. It was like th four attempts, five attempts, and that's it. That was fucking awesome. I thought that was gonna be one of the hardest bosses in the entire fucking field. Okay, you know what? We're actually gonna take advantage of this. I'm just gonna like get some damage in early. I did it way too close to the other person. Okay, they're gonna damage it, but it's fine. This is gonna be a motherfucker. This is gonna be an absolute cunt. I'm fucking. I do believe, actually not, I do believe all the range units has to go here and then the melee have to be spawned here. I'm gonna do that, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try that. Because I do feel like that that's the way to Because it gives time for the uh, tower to build. And once the tower is up, I feel, I feel like we, we're gonna be alright. Oh, 
Oh, they gave me a fucking churro, man. Fucking hungry, man. Mm mm mm. Man, you're freaking making me hungry, Jesus. And you know how much I have to spend to bloody get full. <laughs> hey, Chad, you have no idea. Like, if I go to McDonald's, I'm that guy that, that spends like 40 to 50 bucks to get to, to eat. Mm hmm. He is. Julian will slap five burgers together. And still not, not still not good enough. And he's oh. super skinny. Oh bloody hell. Oh. Shorter than me, skinnier. <laughs> it's three to four times more than me. Fucking insane. If you guys ever watch Beard Meets Food on YouTube, Julian's like the exact same as this guy. The exact same. Matt, watching watching him eat makes me want to, to order ridiculous amounts of food and eat. <laughs> <laughs> It's like it's like epic meal time as well. It's like you watch that and you just get hungry for it. Mm. <laughs> Fast food lasagna, huh? All right. So I feel like this fight, range units have to go here very soon. So I'll spawn him here. And then him I go to automatically this family box for my family, just me. Yeah, exactly, man. Yeah. <laughs> Perfect. <laughs> exactly. Okay, while he's going through there, I feel like this will be the way. Yeah, this is the way. This is the way to do it. Fuck, but that's not where the that's not where to put the fucking the fucking banshee. Okay, one more hit. I wouldn't have to worry about it if I spawn my units properly. Waiting for him to get closer before I spawn. Hmm. All right, we're up. How are we gonna get there? Do we do need that one. Holy shit. Fuck, I don't know about that. What in the living fuck am I gonna do about this? Towers are substantially weak compared to normal towers. I don't think. See, footmen will work at the very. Oh, is the footmen even gonna work? Footmen aren't gonna work. They're all magic. They're all magic. That's gonna fuck I don't think I can use footmen here. The whelps are gonna get destroy them. Um, they're only good against one unit in this fight. Man, this game looks strategy uh, strategically full on. The timing is yeah, absolutely timing and not fucking up. <laughs> and it's uh, it's there's a huge learning curve in this. You have to be patient against every boss. You have to try different strategies. You have to get to a point. Where you can predict what's about to come out, and the way you predict is by timing your unit placement and where you place them in order to get a predictable summon of units. It's tough. But eventually you need to know what units is gonna do that for you. What is gonna kill the boss? Who is gonna kill the boss? What? You need at least two or three units that can actually kill the boss, and then the other three are just countering. So, 
See, this is where I'm going to run into a problem. Is that my footmen are level 19. These guys are going to be level 17, I think. Yeah, see, like, oh, a two level difference up against level 20. I don't think they're going to be strong enough to actually sustain the fight. The bat rider here is going to be useless. The bat rider is going to be absolutely useless. Um, you know, I'll, I'll, I'll go with I'll go with the Griffin for now. Because get the extra levels, especially if I can summon the, uh, especially, mm, you know what, I can do that and cycle them through to the right lane all the time and use these guys to push towers non-stop. They're, they're to get rid of the whelps, clear the whelps, these guys are going to get there. And then eventually the, uh, we'll just be able to kill the boss. Let's give it a go. Cause they have banshees and shit in this too. Oh fuck banshees. I'm gonna deal with that. I have no idea. I'm gonna, I'm gonna have no idea how to deal with the banshee in this one. I have no idea. Hmm. That's something to think about. So what I'm going to do is, I'm just going to summon both. So get a head start with him. And see a head start with him. Okay. So it's not one shot. But with two of them, it should be... Oh. oh, that's not good. That's not good to see. Okay, we're actually going alright, yeah. Cool hounds are doing their job. Cool hounds are dead. Skeleton party. I need skeleton party because they're gonna maul the shit out of most of these units, anyways. Even though they're low HP, the banshee, the banshee can't beat them either. So yeah. Who else could I use? When I really think about it, who else can I look with? Hmm. I 
Actually, maybe the Drake. Maybe I could do it with the Drake. Or is the Drake going to be too low level? Alright, what are you doing? Hmm. No, I'm gonna go with Skeleton Party. I'm not gonna go with the Drake. Even with the extra levels, it's not gonna make a difference. Yeah, it's not gonna make a difference. <clears throat> I'll go with these guys. No magic, just brute force. Okay. I think I know what the strategy is fully. Wait for the first one coming out. Line them up. Only need the right beginning, boys. Question is how we can do it. Line them up. We just gotta wait till we got eight, eight coins. I'll wait for these to get like two hundred crystals each. Then I'll send the uh, troll. assault. That's fine, that's gonna die. <clears throat> I'm actually gonna split. I'm gonna try and split my units even though I'm not gonna reflect this. 
Are they gonna split? Okay, they're splitting. Okay, good. Now we can deal with that. Oh, look at this cheeky bastard. I need to get that. Fuck. Oh, we got this tower, we got this tower. Oh no. Man, that's difficult. I really do have to focus on getting this first tower, so uh, I'm going to get rid of Skeleton Party. I am going to focus on getting cheaper units to cycle out. Maybe I will use the Bat Rider. But I'm gonna swap it out to the Meat Wagon for now. Hmm. Most likely the Meat Wagon. It is most likely the Meat Wagon. Now that I've got a few more levels and the talent on it, it should be right. Whoever designed this map is a sadist, mate. I'll fucking tell you what. So intense, bro. How long can you experiment? I expect to experiment on a boss like this an hour or so. <laughs> an hour. <laughs> Try a whole day sometimes. Sometimes it's a whole day. Some th There's been streams where I've done... Where we. The biggest one... I did a 10-hour 10, 10 stream. And, oh, sorry, 11-hour stream. I broke it up into two sessions. And it took me seven hours to beat one boss. Seven hours. And it was all because of sequencing problems. Getting the right sequence and trying to fight, figure out what was the right sequence. And then eventually we killed him. It took six fucking hours. Straight. That's straight, by the way. That's no, no breaks. Straight. <clears throat> Let's go meet wagons this time. Those towers are weak. I feel like I'll be able to protect them. Uh, the meat wagon. Okay. More and more. Mm-hmm. Relentless. We stayed at a boss for seven hours before. Exactly, man. Dark was there. Seven hours. <laughs> seven fucking hours. <laughs> Who the fuck does that? <laughs> I'm gonna save those chips for later. It's not yet full. I'm just gonna fucking finish eating my churros though. Little shit tons of chips in that one. That's one whole shift that you job. Yep. Feels like a job sometimes. This this, this game. <laughs> then you we get times where it's actually absolutely uh, fine. We're reaching a different level of insanity that night. Okay, we got that immediately. Now let's try and back him up. Damn it. Of course, I have to back him up. 
Let's do that again. I like the start. I like that start. <clears throat> King Crush restated from two days. Yeah. Two days. God, that was hell. You get you get so demoralized when you're stuck in a boss, and then you know you know deep down you have to just play nothing but PvP. PvP and uh questing all day and it's fucking boring. So yeah. Oh yeah, the celebration was real. I fucking got up. So shadow boxing. I was like, I'm gonna fuck the motherfucker up, man. Yeah, it was crazy, man. Those are the those are the feelings that I that I miss from World of Warcraft. Just being that go, yeah, we fucking did it. Because those moments don't really exist for me anymore in WoW. But in this, it fucking does. It's fucking intense. Getting spawned, I can't just defeat it immediately. It's like that mean when the missus play uh, probably thinks you're out cheating. Yeah, exactly. When I go to sleep and I think of any woman, they'll send me a message. You thinking of me today? Fuck no, man. I'm thinking about the stupid ass boss that I'm gonna beat. <laughs> Hard day at work today, hun? Mm hmm. Seven hours of this fucking shit. I'm just gonna send a unit down that way just to throw it away and then I'll start a little bit late with the meat wagon just to get rid of the fucking um the ghoul Now he got spawned. That's okay. That's fine. So fun and excited? Yeah. I just want to pick the other boss. I'm trying to keep this um, meat wagon alive. The fucking whelps. We have to get ready for this fucker.
Fuck. I like the start, I just don't know how to sustain it. <laughs> Might have a cig after that, he don't even smoke yard, alright. I was contemplating getting drunk. <laughs> so much stress. Do it again. So the, the emotes that I want to create, um, I feel like one of them should be like the all right, all right, all right thing at the start. The other one's like the, the, the bye part at the end of the stream. <clears throat> but I was also thinking for an emote, we have, we do it again. <laughs> we do it again. That's what we fucking do, man. We just do this shit over and over again. I'm gonna somehow translate that to emotes for my channel. <clears throat> Cause as soon as we lose, I can just imagine in chat we just we do it again. <laughs> Do we do it again emotes? <laughs> we do it again. Uh this game in the future will be so uh will be uh so on and will be uh especially in PvP raids of course. Oh yeah. Do it bro, that's legit, yeah I know. Oh, well, I'm considering it. Line them up. Late night tonight. Oh yeah. What time did you start? Ah oh, shit. Shit, the tower goes down, I'll just keep shit down. Keeping them there. There'll be ranked for PvP. It, there will be seasons. There will be. I'm pretty sure there's gonna be copying a lot of the uh, uh, fucking Clash Royale shit. I need to try a different strategy. Same units, different strategy. I need, I need to try a different one. I need to find a way to keep the push going without getting killed by the Banshee. I feel like if no if nothing's attacking the tower, the tower's gonna be fine. Cause it's level twenty. It's wiping out the the whelps in like one shot. So I need to figure that out. This PVE looks hard to balance. Uh can't make it too easy coming. Yeah, exactly, yeah. Um I don't think that you could nerf things like this. Uh like you could probably nerf the rate of units coming out, but that's about it. I can't nerf the units per se. 
what I'm gonna do is this. I'll make sure he doesn't pick that up. Could I just living bomb the living shit out of that too, actually, at the end? Oh, I'm gonna switch the living bomb again. <clears throat> I'm just waiting until I get the right units out. Thinking you need to spend? Yeah, I know. It does. The heaps of problem solving. It's very crucial too. This fucking spell. That's a problem. I want to deal with this fucking That's a problem. I mean, they're staying alive. They're, they're getting healed and stuff, which is good. But now there's so many whelps building up. Okay, all right. Now we're back to square one again. Ugh. How the hell is this gonna work? See them on my wagon. to get more levels on Huntress. Shit, and he's out already. There's no raid add-on that tells you what to press or which button? Yeah, no. I can't just use a Banshee in this because of the whelps. Man, this is so tough. I got a feeling I'm just better off going down this, this, literally through this place here, and just not worry about that. Just keep the meat wagon on this forever, just to cause havoc, so they can't spawn any units. And then I just travel. Actually, you know what? That does sound pretty good. That does sound pretty good. Because um, eventually they're just gonna forget about that fucking tower. So we might as well do that, man. Might as well do it. Might as well do it. <sighs> I'm just happy that we got one boss already. 53. We are now 53 skulls. There is only 12 bosses left. <clears throat> Clear the way first. Let these fuckers spawn. Because that's always going to happen. And now I'm literally going to do this. We are just going to focus only ever on pushing this side. Shit, I think that's going to kill my dudes. I shouldn't have spawned them first. Yeah, that's going to kill the fucking heal. For the same reason I can't do that immediately. Who can I send down the line without getting into trouble? We need to find the right sequence on the right hand side. Um, that tower will be very easy to kill anyways. I just need to find the right sequence. <clears throat> tough man. Tough, tough, tough. Absolutely tough. Crazy. This, this, I, I, I sort of knew that this one in the back of my mind was going to be fucking hard. And as soon as I first saw it, I knew this was going to be fucking annoying. Did you pass the Ice Cube Giant? Yes, I did. Yes, I did. We did that yesterday. We beat Ursa Major. And we beat uh, the big Ice Dude. 
<clears throat> and and we also just beat in like 20 minutes in in the first like 20 to 40 minutes we beat the um the Shiro Tan boss the two tigers it was very quick <laughs> which I was so unexpected and we actually we just defeated him after five tries I'm just gonna wait until I got all units available and I'm just gonna send them down the line What's he sending? Nothing. Okay, here we go. Boom. Oh, okay, good. Now these fuckers are coming down there. I don't give a shit about that. Oh, fuck. I did that at the wrong time, though. That's okay. I'll win nothing for next time. Um. Fuck, but he's coming down. I need to grind on to pass the roaming drake on PvP. Oh, PvE? Yeah, I know the one. That's hard because you need a lot of, like, you, you do need core hounds for that. Or you need something that's elemental resistant. Jump on PvP so I can grind you. Fuck off. Grind me. <laughs> I've never lost a match in my life. I don't know what you guys talking about. No, I never lose. I'm a multi tournament champion here, man. What are you talking about? Shit, man, this is a, what a, that was a joke, man. You're funny, you're a funny man. Anyways, let's restart, because I didn't lose it. Let's restart, I never lost it. Not one. Okie dokie. <clears throat> I'm glad to see that there's more viewers popping on, too. I'm also happy that you guys have been engaging and um, having fun as well with me. Because there are sometimes I'm not having fun in this game. Right? You can clearly tell when you look at my streams. <laughs> Certain bosses make me want to fucking punch a hole through a wall, throw my stream, throw my phone through the window. Like there, there, there are many bosses like that in this. Then there are bosses that are so easy that it makes you feel good about yourself. <laughs> I'm not going to spawn one single fucking unit until they all spawn everything. Actually, you know what? I will spawn. I'll, I'll just do this real quick. I don't want them to get the extra gold. I just want me to have it. You're a gun, mate. Appreciate what you do. Thanks, man. I want to see what happens here. Does he just get more? <laughs> okay, I'm gonna wait. I'm gonna wait till they spawn everything, including the fucking giant, man. That bastard, so I know which lane I can send my units down. Okay, wait for this fucker to get close. Can I kill him? Damn it, I can't kill him. Can't kill him in time. I can't kill him in time. But you know what I can do, guys? I'm gonna get rid of me. I got a feeling I can bait all the units to one side all the time. And I need the uh, skeleton party to do it. Even if they're weak. If that's their only job, then it could work. <clears throat> In a way, he's my sensei, uh, sensei at this point. Yeah, I know, right? Young Miyagi. You need to listen, Daniel san. You need to listen, okay? Don't be idiot. Psh. That's the advice I can give you right now. Miyagi-san. <laughs> Daniel-san. We can do it. I'm gonna switch my units. I am gonna switch them back to the party. The skeleton party.
that's gonna work. I got a feeling that's gonna work. If I can bait all the units to one side, spawning, then I can capture the other tower, then I can f move all my forces on the right, use that fucking right tower and always hold on to it while defending at the same time. I reckon I can do it. Because if you spawn so many units at once at the other tower, the boss are never gonna spawn a unit down at the bottom one. It'll never happen. It'll just be too much. <coughs> Especially if the boss can't kill them all. Maybe I'll get living. Like who knows? Maybe I'll get living bomb as well. Who knows? Living bomb might be because I should. I could be able to time living bomb with the whelps while they're crossing over units, and I should be able to just living bomb the shit out of buildings and. <sighs> The towers and all that shit. I should be able to do that. I should be able to do, that. do this. I actually started with this one instead. Because I want to save my dragon. Uh, Anyways, my dragon did a few hits in. Ooh, that's nice. Oh, they spawned there this time. Okay, now we're going to begin the assault. Or all they need to do is get there. They only need to get there. And as soon as I see the Banshee get played, which I got a feeling is very, very soon. Go. Go. Oh, he spawned the other one instead. He spawned the Molten Giant instead. out again? No. Oh my god, he's out again. He's out again. He's out again. The first... Oh, fuck, that first part really matters. The first sets of wave really matters. I didn't expect the Molten Giant to get spawned like that too, right in front of my Worgen, which fucked everything. I'm just hoping that's not the case when I do it again. Oh, the frost was shams not getting through. There's just too many mobs getting spawned. Ooh, 
could I... I'm wondering, this is what I'm wondering, if those whelps come back. Because if they do, then we can cheese the boss. We can just defend all game, use the walk and living bomb, one after another. Over and over and over again. Hmm. Hmm. Because, yeah, every time I go silent, what's happening in my brain at the moment is I replay what I've just seen in my head. And knowing what I do know about the fight. I just, you, you need more information. You need more information. So, and because the only thing we haven't done yet is actually hit the boss. We have no idea what happens when we hit the boss. So, I need to see that. I need to see it and see how it works. How much damage does the boss do? Is the boss actually very easy to kill? Let's go back to the living bomb. Because right now, my warget is so fucking strong. Even at level 17. But. I need to- I need to get pyroclasm. Because it's, it's gonna give one extra level anyways. But the spell radius increased by 25% is huge. It's fucking big. That's a big AoE. Flight of Whelps, let's do it again. Let's, let's just see if the Living Bomb is actually going to do something to the boss. Because if we can get two, two boss kills again, then that's great. We'll only work on this boss until, like, for another hour. And then for the second half of the stream, we'll work on the other boss. Because if I feel like we can't progress anywhere with this one, due to just level differences of my units, then that's just it. Like that was just, that's, there's nothing you can do about it. But I feel like the last boss uh, is quite easier, substantially easier compared to this. But let's just see Living Bomb real quick. Ooh, I want to know if he spawns more units. And this is how we're going to find out. He spawns more fucking units! We're going to go for a kill. We're going for a kill. We're going for a kill, guys. That's the answer. I have to wait, I have to wait, I have to wait. Fuck. Alright, um... Money, money, money. What can we do? What can we do? What can we do to stop that without giving me getting killed? Uh, actually, you know what? Let's just get him out. Let's take a fight each other. We've got to get Living Bomb out, and we've got to get the Morgan out. And we do it one after another. We can recycle it. We're just going to keep cycling through. need to be able to defend that same thing. Fuck, we just need to... You know what's funny? We don't need... We can go back to Footman. We can go back to Footman. We don't need the fucking other dudes, because all we're doing now is defending. Like in Neanderthal, in Neanderthal Discovery Fire, it's beautiful to watch. <laughs> The funniest thing is, knowing these things now, imagine if Blizzard changed all the fights and how they worked when, it, when the game came out. <laughs> That'll be fucking mean. That'll be disgusting. I feel like in one hour, we, in under an hour, we can beat this boss. I just need the right defensive units. It needs to be so defensive and cheap.
Do I need healers? I feel like I need healers. So what's essential to this fight is obviously the Worgen and the Living Bomb. But now I need to be able to defend like crazy. I'm going to create a very cheap defense. Very, very cheap I just need to defend against ground units. I don't need to defend against air units. I'm going to create a very cheap defense. And we're going to go for the boss kill. We're just going to Living Bomb. Worgen, Living Bomb. Just re rinse and repeat. And that looks like it'll happen. About... One, two, three, four, five. Five or six times we have to do that. Because before, my Worgen actually didn't hit the boss. The Worgen, um, for some reason, attacked the egg. Uh, which is which was shit. So I gotta put the wargan in front of the boss in order for that to happen. See how I'm gonna do that is this. Because that's gonna give me the gold income that I need. And here comes the new one. He can see him coming a mile away. That means we don't need the wall. We, well, we just we need just someone to actually get there, and that's all. So I feel like I just need to combat against and just keep this tower so they don't spawn right in front of me. Everything else will be some fucking fine. Five to six living bombs and we'll win the fight. But I need to make sure that I get the chest all the time. I need to make sure of that for sure. Actually, I don't think I can continue getting the chest because I can only get it once because then the wolves will eat the shit out of the, um, out of the wargan. See, as soon as he gets close, he gets discovered. See? So you can't stealth on him. I'll wait for that to happen, that's fine. I bought Rin, uh, Lim Bomb Talent, uh, like I told you. It's shit. Like, it's so shit, I put the liz Yeah, yeah, it's terrible. Like, I thought it'll be good, but it's not. It's not good. The resistance is much better. Oh, Blizzard bugged. Oh, but it bugged. Oh, okay, yeah, yeah. Bug feedback. Yeah. Bug feedback. Uh, bug feedback. Uh, okay, we can do this one. Oh, oh, I just want to know if I can just like cycle through the living rooms as quick as possible. That 
that's six living bombs. I, I can see it now, it's six of them. Um, I just need to be able to defend. Okay. I need to be able to defend. The most useless unit in this right now for me is the healer. Because I would not be able to, if I'm doing living bomb cycle, I can't afford to heal. Because there's no room for it. There's nothing I'm going to be healing, they're just going to die anyways. So I'm going to have to replace him with a shit unit that I can sacrifice to the first wave. But still do good. <sighs> I reckon we got it, guys. We, we could just literally work on this boss for the rest of the night if it gets to it. And I'm, pre I'm pretty confident that we're going to beat it. Knowing that Living Bomb works here, we can beat it. There's no doubt about it. If my Living Bomb was the same level, like level 20, that shit would only take like maybe four hits. Four Living Bombs and that's it, it's over. The only thing good as well about the warden in this is just to pick up the chest. Hey, he's not good at fighting the boss. I thought it would be, but I saw it and it just didn't happen. Uh, actually, sorry, I didn't have a healer in this. Um, who can I use to stop the Banshee? Drake? Nah, it's level 14, he won't kill it in time. Um, you know what I actually might do instead? I'm gonna use Meat Wagon, because as long as they don't spawn in front of me. If they don't spawn in front of me, then I'm fine. So I'm just gonna take out the tower instead. I'm just gonna solve that problem by taking out the tower. Or, or forcing them to spawn something else instead of the Banshee. changed why is he coming out why did he come out That's don't tell me this boss is gonna do random shit all of a sudden don't tell me the boss is gonna do shit that is not meant to happen once you got the right sequence and shit and all of a sudden it starts doing random shit gotta figure out why why did that spawn did i living bomb too early did i do something else too early like that's what i need to Blizzard right on you? Yeah, fuck him. <laughs> He's been done. Banshee just got swarmed. That's not what happened. We're gonna we're just gonna go through that fuck it. See as long as if it's even if it's sitting like that, they can't spawn shit. That's what I'm that's what I'm okay with.
that's coming out. Fuck this thing. All this gold here that I can't really go for. We're gonna get double gold, so we're literally gonna start spamming that. So the idea is to like just go for it and get into the living bomb uh, cycle. That's all we need to do. If we can get to living bomb, we should be able to win the fight. We only need two to three more. There's one. one more. No! It is six. It is six. Okay, I need to find a way. I need to find a way to... It's all the gold that I'm missing over there. I need to get that. I need to get it. When, it, when there's six of them just sitting there, that's what I need. So there's a period of time where I am wasting time, maybe like a minute, just to go through the cycle. But I think the boss is going to be dead on the next one. Next two or three attempts for sure. Cheaper units? Nah, it's about it's also about surviving. You need, but you do need tanky units to do it. So. Sending him out this way. Oh, shit, actually, I didn't do it closer. That's okay. As long as I can get that gold. As long as I can get that gold. Waiting for that whelp to go past. And the next whelp to go past.
It's getting laggy now on my screen. There's just so many units. As soon as my tower attacks, I'm dead. Again. We'll do it again. Because if they if they're coming down where the whelps are on the right hand side in the canyon, I can manage that. I just cannot manage anything spawning in front of me right in front of me so I have to get rid of that somehow and I need to focus on also getting the gold so oh man that's fucking tough because that's six gold that I'm missing out that's a, that's a full cycle a full cycle run two and three plus units Take it and take the giant? Possibly, possibly. It is very possible. If I spend more now, I think I can do it later. Uh, can get through this a lot easier. I heard the chest. Cannot give that to the enemy. The fact that nothing can spawn right in front of me is a huge edge. Like, every time that goes down, it's a huge edge. Because he's most likely, as soon as it starts getting attacked, he's going to spawn units. See? See that? But I have to do it too, or else I just, there's just no, um... Okay, he's been a... I might need Shield Bash again, to be honest. Oh no. I have to spend it. I have to get this guy. Kind of That's fine, there's only two gold that's gonna spawn there, that's fine. Okay, now this is where the defense has to happen now. At this point in time. I have to spend a little bit more here in order to fucking do shit later. Oh, 
Did that happen again in front of me? Shit! Fuck! One, two, three. That's three more living bombs. Three more living bombs. Three more living bombs in one minute. Three more living bombs in one minute. You know what's funny? I think I saw something else that could be beneficial for him in that fight. I saw that the right tower was actually almost dead. If I can get the warg in there and hit that tower and get rid of it, maybe I might stand a chance. Maybe. I'll see. I'm doing this early. I want to get the first set of gold that comes out immediately. I'm going to try as hard as I can to not trigger the, uh... So I'll get the gold later. The chest later. See, yeah, see, see what I mean by that? I might have to sacrifice that first one, that first chest, and go for everything else later. Banshee being wasted on the tower is actually really good. Oh, wait, he's not getting wasted on me. That's not good. Another one. When you're fighting a tank and you're using poison, there's no there's no difference with the poison. As far as I can tell. It's very fucking high damage. Very, very high. Uh because it because elemental ignores armor, but poison you don't really need to worry about armor or, or resistances and shit. It literally fucking eats them alive. And it's much cheaper. He only he only costs two as well, instead of three for the catapult. Because the meat wag is not going to go anywhere. Yeah, I think we need to work on this boss for the rest of the night because we're so close to winning. After seeing all that, I know that we can beat him. Like, very, very soon as well. Severely underleveled, but that's not the point. Poison, poison, poison. That's gonna work for sure. 
Hopefully, I'm gonna hope it works. If not, I have to go back to the Bat Rider. And then the Bat Rider is gonna be the one that defends. I just have to see the difference between the two damage, between the poison and the AoE elemental. Damage, man. That's still quite a bit of damage. I'll just move these guys out too. Play farms gonna die in this. This. No, I'm level 20 versus level 20. Um, the units don't matter because the living bomb is the one that matters. The actual what I'm actually going to use to kill the boss. That's the part that matters. You get what I mean? As long as I can defend and cycle this non stop, then we're all good. Get it, get it, get it, get it. Just get the gold. Protect them. Get the gold. I have to just spawn the right units at the right time, that's all I gotta do. As soon as I see they get spawned right in front of me, I have to spawn in front of my barracks. I can't sort of like wait. I have to spawn them right then and there. How many living bombs do we have to get through? Is it six or seven? One, two, three, four, five, five, six. I guess six living bombs. We need six living bombs. Like this. What I'm actually gonna do is... Wait, what happened there? That's different. That spawned differently. Like, the cobalt came out over here. And this fucker's out now. Yeah, now the Banshee's out now, what the fuck? That was a good attempt. Okay, the poison's gonna get more nice. The next living bomb. I heard the, uh, chest. Oh, he's gonna get it again. 
The boss is doing random shit now. It's doing a completely different cycle. But who knows? We might be able to get it with this one. I need to save up exactly 10. Fucking tank dies, as long as Molten Giant dies, then we're fine. We can defend. So, this is Bomb Cycle 4. Bomb Cycle 4. Can we get. Oh, no, it's seven. It's seven Bomb Cycles. I just need the money to fucking get it all out. Here comes this fucker. Wait for him to die. No, that's not good. I have to use him to get rid of that. Damn it, I don't think we're gonna make it through the next one. I'm gonna spam. It's getting so laggy too, there's just so many fucking units on the field. It's not even... No. It's no joke. I'm just trying to think if there's a better way to do this. Maybe! No! We still got time! We still got time. I just cannot afford to die. I just want all my fucking units. As long as, long as we can survive this. As long as we can survive this part. Batrider. I'm gonna use his Batrider to defend. I think I'm just gonna pull off more damage with him. The poison was actually doing alright. It's just, uh, fuck. Maybe I don't know. Uh, you know, you know, I just noticed too. I don't need the Huntress. The Huntress costs too much. I don't need the Huntress at all. I need more defense. So if I can drop the cost by one, maybe use the Stonehold Torrent. Yeah, gotta use cheaper units. Definitely gotta use cheaper units. But I'm um, cheaper and then just op optimal, optimal units. The funniest thing is the Plague Farmer actually did all right there. Try Drake? Nah, nah, nah. I'm gonna try Drake. Life is Groundhog's Day. <laughs> I mean, like, good morning. Thanks, man. That's nah, so good. Uh, take the first tower and put him there. That wouldn't make a difference. That wouldn't. That, I don't feel like that'll make a difference. Um, because the the whelps will become overwhelming. I don't think I could just ever create like 
gain control of the tower. Um, the Drake also costs a little bit. It only you know, costs four. I don't think it's going to do it. I need more ground defense. I need units to not attack my tower. And the Drake's not powerful enough to destroy him. But I am sure that. Who's, who's another good defender? Maybe we use the Banshee. Maybe we use the Banshee. Nah, but see, fuck. I, I have to, that means I have to always time it. I want something that I can spawn and not really worry about. That can actually fight these fuckers. I'm gonna change it to Shield Bash. Nah, I need the Footman. It's very clear that I need Footman. We'll buy some fighting today. I'm fighting um, the Drake. You'll need not not something to defend if no giant. Um, no, no, no. I do need to defend. It's the Ghoul. The Ghoul still hurts. The Ghoul hurts. The Plague Farmer hurts. Like they still hurt. And then, if the Banshee captures one of my units, I still need something to defend it with. Right now, I need to figure out who I'm going to replace with the Huntress. Um, what I could do is just literally just go back to this fucker. And just heal, and just keep my units alive for as long as possible. We'll do this, because it costs one less. I'll give that a go. The difference here now is just I'm losing. I'm using the living bomb. The only thing that's changed from the when I first started fighting this boss was the meat wagon. Now I'm swatched. It's literally just living bomb now. It's seven living bomb cycles. Or maybe I could short. You know what's funny? Maybe I can shorten it even if I use a shitty spell instead. Who knows, maybe I can change it. I'm gonna go with the assault. I'm just gonna change it up a little bit. I'm gonna go assault for a bit. Um, yeah, that's definitely not the way to go, because I just wasted so many good minutes there. Shit! Shit, shit, shit! See, because that's where we're uh, fucked up with my footman. I'm gonna restart that because I spawned footman that just got wasted and shit, and I should have saved him for this point. Yeah. And it doesn't matter if the bat rider dies. So if I living bomb straight away, I can't get that on. Maybe, maybe two spells. Yeah, I'm thinking two spells. Oops.
So I need to be constantly spawning units. But I need to be able to defend at the same time as well. Like right now my footman should be here. And I do have time for footman. Okay, we're good. Put shield bash on the form too this time around. I think it's gonna make a huge difference for defending. That's fine, that's fine. Shit, I'm losing out on my fucking chest now though. Um and I know why. I know why. I have I can't spawn living bomb immediately. Because that's triggering the boss to spawn units early. And to spawn them in not the right positions that I want. And I need the chests. And then it puts me out of cycle. That means I can't keep getting the chest. They're going to keep getting the chest. And I need it to cycle units. Or else where am I going to put the worg in? So I have to wait a little bit. Now we go. Okay, what I can afford to do is actually send Grom out immediately. That's fine. Because uh, I can burn them all to death anyways. He's not, he's not that strong. Or maybe he is that strong. Nah, nah, he's alright. Right. That, that didn't end fire significantly less. Like, way less damage. Now living bomb and then chest. Living bomb, now chest. Now I'm getting damaged. I'm getting murdered. Why is he spawning? Why is he spawning? Didn't I just fucking fight the cunt? Didn't I just fight him? Look at that. Our living bomb is nearly fully level too, because it's the lowest level thing that I'm using right now. So I'm just gonna stick with it and maybe we'll like get a level on um, Living Bomb. The problem is if I spawn a unit, it's gonna activate him. Maybe I just, you know what? Maybe I sacrifice this dickhead over here, which still gives me time to go. Like, I'm, I'll let this happen, but I want to get this gold early. Two, three. There we go. You got it. So what I'm actually gonna do is this. So even though I copped a lot more damage than before, I'm just gonna see if I can do this. And force the spawning to come on one, to be on one side, and force all, every single unit to come out this way. Money, money, money. You'll see what I mean. If I just keep doing this, no, I was too late. I was too fucking late. It has to be footman. Footman on that cycle. Two, two bombs in, footman defending against that. Um, because the problem is, like, I'm not sure if that always spawns like that. So far it has been, but I'm pretty sure as soon as I uh, change it up, it's going to be something different. Oxide PT, thanks for the follow, man. Shouldn't you chill till 10 gold to start off uh, to help out after in defense? Um... That's pretty much what I was doing that. Um, that's what I'll normally do, but right now, uh, if I wait too long, a certain cycle will come out and I won't like it. Which I'll wait. But there's gonna be, I'm pretty sure there's units that I'm gonna spawn right in front of me. We'll have to see. Yeah, no, that's not good. Because now, now I kind of have the chest. Let's restart. I'm going to start off by not bombing him. I'm going to get the 
Worgen out. We'll try it that way around. Worgen and then bomb, and then we have to go back to bomb then Worgen. Because that cycle has to be very specific to spawn specific units and in certain areas. So you put them in a lock. So now all you're doing is just rinse and repeat and nothing should really change. Pretty much nothing should really change. Because the question is like, you know, well, the thing that we need to reach... Oh, fuck, no, maybe I can't do it. I have to go now. Because he's going to spawn. Yeah, shit, I like... Maybe, maybe delaying it a little bit longer, maybe help. Nah, it didn't really help. Um, it's still the same thing, the only difference is that uh, delay it, and that's not going to matter. Different unit gets spawned, and I still can't defend against them. Um, the footmen are the only thing that can do it. I just need to find out how I'm going to spawn them in. How I'm going to use them to fight. Because if all four footmen get spawned to the very left, that means the plague farmer spawns, and plague farmer's just going to maul it, and then it's the molten giant that I can't defend. If I put it all to the right, that means the molten giant spawns first, and I've got no defense. Um, that's pretty much what it means. It has to be immediate. It has to be straight away, because I need to beat the whelps to the... And now. And I have to beat the whelps to the gold mine. I'm just gonna spawn on this side this time and just gonna see what happens. I'm um, gonna hope the fuck it doesn't get spawned right in front of me. Because I got Living Bomb ready to go. And I'm hoping that is, that when I look away, he doesn't spawn. Please do not spawn. I heard him spawn. Okay, now actually we can actually defend this. I'll put him on this side because the world. The other whelp is just absolutely more than shit, man. Fuck's sake. Shit, what am I doing? I pressed the wrong fucking button. That just fucked me, maybe. That just maybe fucked me. Yeah, just me. Not really gonna get done. Fuck me, man. For sure. We have a good spawn here, but the problem now is that... Drake? So I'm gonna do this, I'm gonna spawn him right down. Ah, oh, you fucker! That fucking banshee fucked it! I need to, I need to revert back to the cycle that I did originally. I 
I'm gonna have to go for the tower. I'm gonna have to go for it immediately. I have to sacrifice the second wave in order to, for it to do like to be quicker. By doing so, that means I have to kill no matter what these fuckers here. Um, you see what I mean? I have to kill the uh, null. That's the cobalt. Sorry. I need that more than I need this right now. Go, go, go. He made it through! That problem solved. That problem is now solved. We now have all this- Oh no! This fuck is coming down that way. Let's see if I have much gold I can mine. Oh, the boss is getting hit! With oh, the boss got hit! With that one. Can we defend this? We can defend this. Come on. That must have... Give me a different uh, edge now. He's only got one gold just there. Now I can still send him anyways. I'm gonna send him this way. Living bomb and then it's Worgen. Or else it doesn't work. The cycle doesn't work properly. This is where we're, we're gonna win this one. I'm, I'm gonna defend. Because I. We have enough for two cycles now. Please only be one more. Overtime. That's fine. Here he comes. I'm gonna split them just in case something else gets spawned right in front of me. Using the Batrider this time around. Please be it. Please let this be the last one. No, it's not the last one, okay? We're spawning everything. We're just gonna spawn everything. Okay, here we go. Survive. Ten seconds left. Don't look at it. We did it. That was it. All because the troll got through and got the extra damage on him. That was six living bomb cycles. Solved by the troll getting through. We're on 54 fucking... 54 fucking skulls now. Obviously it would be a lot easier if my living bomb was higher level, but fuck.
That's it, baby. Good fight? Yeah, man. It was all because that fucking Darkspear troll got through. Darkspear troll? Woo! Well, thanks for the stress this morning. <laughs> it's all because that fucking troll actually got through unharmed. And he actually got to the boss. And the boss wasn't doing anything for a while. He was just sitting there. And he copped like at least three or four hits. That's good. I don't think we'll get three bosses today though. I'm certain we won't. Because the next one is a fuck- <laughs> is a fucking bullshit one. I'm not powerful enough for it. Oh, wait, I think we get to see the next area though. Plaguelands! Limited time store offer! Ooh! Is it a hundred dollars? Wow! Look at that, man. Ooh! I'm not buying that. Legendary XP time. It's, it's tempting, but I'm not getting it. 2,500. <laughs> Uh, yeah, I'm not getting that. I don't want to spend any more money on the game. I only bought the Brewster and that's it. That's all I care about. That's a significant boost. It's 100%. Like, you could get through... What, what can you do with that? Like, yo, your main lineup could easily... If you're lucky, your main lineup can boost by one level each. That's, that's if, if, if. It's all based on if. Who did we get? Okay. Plaguelands, man! Ooh! Plaguelands! Okay, uh... We'll just have a quick peek of Plaguelands. Fuck, it's laggy now. I feel like Bluestacks just fucking lags like crazy. Immovable object. Ruins. Oh, we definitely cannot do this. Oh, it's only two levels up, but... Oh, no! Baron? That's a fight Baron? At the end? Oh, my God. Ugh, what is it doing? Your troops will rise again as skeletons at the ritual rune. I'm not looking forward to that. I'm not looking forward to this fight. When this comes, oh god. We're looking at this next week too. This will be next week's content. Baron Rivendare. My fucking nemesis. My fucking nemesis. Glutton for punishment. Ravstein. Oh, the Gorga. That looks cool, man. That model looks fucking awesome. When Ramstein came to Stratholm, he smashed down every door. Out of principle, not a hinge was a hinge was spared. Who's this? Tyrion. We have to two, we have to fight two fucking shit asses in the same area. Tyrion Fordering. A small skeleton party will rise whenever you cast a spell. Pure paladin and proud uh, proofreader of the light and how to swing it. <laughs> oh god. Oh, this is gonna be hell. A small skeleton party will rise whenever you cast this. Yeah, but is he just gonna consecrate the skeletons? It depends who the fuck you're versing too. It's it sounds good, but I guarantee you, it's what units he spawns, which is most likely counter all anyways. Arage, the summoner. Mm. All of Arage's troops will resurrect as a bet. All of all of Arage's troops will resurrect as a banshee upon death. Towards the end of the stream, in the last 30 minutes, we're going to go through all these bosses just to see what they look like. And then that's it. <laughs> but we need to work on the next boss. The immovable object. Finally, I gargoyle. Uh, have you ever equipped your unstoppable force? Gish the unmoving. 
Mm. I'm not looking forward to those fights at all. Okay, for well, the next one I know for a fact we can't use him, the Bat Rider. There's just nothing we can do in the next fight. Uh, the Worgen, I think we do need to use the Worgen. Uh, we definitely need this bitch, the Huntress. This fight's gonna be crazy. Any units you regret buying who not worked out? Uh, just leaders. Uh, Khan Bloodhoof, because I already have a horde leader. Um, yeah, Khan Bloodhoof is one of them that I didn't want. I, I, I wanted it. I thought you can use, like, for Conquest, when you do the bosses again, when you fight them again. I thought you can just use whatever hero, but you can't. It has to be separate, it has to be different heroes from different races. Um, what units do I regret buying? Well, right now I do regret buying Smoke Bomb, but I need it for PvP. I regret buying... Uh, I think it was Chain Lightning. But I'm not sure if, I can't remember if I got that automatically. I think I got that automatically. Uh, right now, uh, it's so grunts came automatically. So, oh wait, was grunts automatic? You know, grunts were automatic and chain lightning was automatic. I'm pretty sure. As my horde starting off horde thing. Um, and also safe pilot, you always automatically get. Well, I I got him and the null. Uh, automatically get him. So not there's not really. I think every one of them has been useful at some point. Uh, Arcane Blast, I need to use for PvP. So not really, just not really. I've been using everyone. I've, like, I've mostly used everyone. But now I have a set core that actually work. But yeah, don't really have regrets. Fifty-four skulls, dude. Fifty-four skulls. Look how many left. Only eleven left. Savage stuff. Mm -hmm. So we got one boss there. We got five bosses there. Then we got Black Rock Mountain. Black Rock Mountain. Those two are raids. Um. Do I have to find do I have to fight Rend? I'm gonna have a look at Black Rock a little quick. Do I have to fight Rend? But who do we fight in a Black Rock Mountain? Okay, Keepers of Flame. Omnitron. The Molten Mining Camp. The Black Rock Stadium, that's Rend. We do fight Rend. Dragon's Wild Hall. Is this General Dracosap? You know, it's funny, I've always called him out as being shit, as one of the shittest fucking heroes in the game. And now he's gonna be the, the very last hero that I fight. What would you do for a Black Rock, a Black Rock clan banner? Nothing. Don't ask him. You wouldn't like his answer. You'll shove it in your ass? He's gonna shove the flag in your ass? Let's finish this off. Uh, so, you know, the good thing is too, guys. After tomorrow, hopefully we can progress through Dire Maul very quickly. And we can get through a few more bosses in the Plague Lands. If not, we're going to try and wrap these two areas up with our alts. With the, with the alt heroes that I have. Let's do it. Colbaton. 
this is sir was it so like yeah so another hour guys and then i'll jump off so we're gonna be working on this hero well on this boss for an hour i don't think i'll beat it i just don't think i will the good thing is that the next area is unlocked so we could potentially just come back to him yeah um but yeah i just don't see us beating him capture the intruders Blood, honor. Line them up. <laughs> I'm just not how it goes. I'm just. <laughs> Ah, shit. <laughs> this one's such an odd fight too, by the way. Like, it's- the map is so straightforward. It's so straightforward. The problem is the- the whelps keep getting spawned like crazy. Can't go near the boss at all. Or, do we just go down the bottom? We haven't tried that yet, we haven't tried to do the assault bottom. Let's just do it. Let's just do a full assault on that bottom. Line them up. Blood, honor. He's gonna turn around and hit. I'm just going to assault the bottom. I'm not going to worry about the bridge because last night we kept going for the bridge and it just didn't work. Ugh. At least we got two bosses today though. I'm not going to Normally we get stuck on one boss for an entire week. But now we're just getting better and better. Better and better. Having less to fight when as soon as I get there is actually crucial. Then I don't have to stop under the bridge and get attacked by all the air units, or ranged. Alright. Capture the intruders! Blood! That's different. Ooh. 
If I can get. Ooh. Maybe I just do send the Huntress straight away. Because then it'll be a lot quicker. Fuck. Hmm. Capture the intruders. Send it back here, though. Line them up. Do this early. Get four. That's okay. As long as they all come out. Shit. I need chain lightning on this fucker too, that's what I'm waiting for. Alright, we're gonna just gonna we're gonna go back to what we know is like what we did. We're just gonna go for the bridge. Cause uh at least I survived a lot longer. We'll just go with that one for now. One sec. Oop. One sec before I start, I'm just gonna, I'm gonna start this download on this other game real quick. And uh, so fucking Steam. Piece of shit. Bugged out. Uh, okay, let's go. We go with what we know. Line them up. I need to get rid of healer and I need to get rid of... I need to put them as core hounds. They're just going to survive much longer. Elemental damage. I don't need to keep healing the core hounds either. I just need them to soak damage.
that okay 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 let's do it let's swap some units out <clears throat> yeah, the huntress is not really a problem because I can use the organ organ magi time I don't think Living Bomb is the, the way to go. It's not going to do anything. It's not going to kill anyone, so I can kill it and do anything. Um, let's try the Drake because of the Gargoyle. Heavy, heavy lineup, but we're fine. Heavy cost, but as long as they're effective, then we're fine. Same thing as before, we grab this fucker out. But this time around, we're actually gonna do this. Maybe? Can we get it on time? Here he is, here he comes. Get him! Shit! I really need that tower as well. I'm just trying to figure out how can I get there without getting any more than that the time. Money, money, money. I guess we just we chip away and then we figure it out.
It's just constant. It is just constant. I can't deal with it. Let's try and go under the bridge again. This time we got the ogre. I need someone to be over the bridge and I need someone to be under the bridge. Ugh, this is uh, frustrating. I am going to wait until I have 10 gold for this one. I'm just going to let the gargoyle get closer to the base before I begin the assault. Coffee? You need coffee? Nah. No coffee. Fuck coffee. I don't drink coffee. Capture the intruders! I was hoping to wait for five days straight. I wanna wait for this gargoyle. Wait for ten. I'm just gonna keep waiting. I just wanna see what happens if I just wait. Tricky fucking monster. I feel like this is the boss I do get stuck at for another f fucking week. I need levels. I need levels on my ogre. I need levels on everyone. Huntress, everything. Four, f four levels I need. Four levels on nearly every unit. That's a lot of EXP, man. That's a very good one. Capture the intruders! How do I get that tower? Because the catapult doesn't sit here. The catapult sits right there and gets killed. This one's hard. This one's hard. Because my Grom is the right level, it's just my units aren't. Capture the intruders! Line them up. Honor. 
I'm just gonna try cheese him. I'm gonna see how long I can defend for the wall cheese this fucker and see if I can make him work. Oh man, I'm versing so difficult units to fight. This is difficult. It's so slow paced as well. This is such a slow fight. There's nothing crazy going on. It's just straightforward. Line up. Trying to get the trying to clear the drops. And just cheese the boss. He's nearly dead this time. Oh, Shit! reminds me of guys you know what this reminds me of it reminds me of uh baron on black fathom depths gargoyles and these fucking air units constantly coming down the lane like constantly coming down the lane and there's nothing cool about it can't really just stop them This one's tough. Oh, shit. This one's tough. This one's tough. What can I use? When can I use? Actually, you know what's funny? You know what's funny? I want to see how well skeleton party actually does against the boss I want to know exactly what happens and I'm gonna switch over to living bomb because I got a feeling because the whelps are gonna be there they're gonna give extra damage for my living bomb 
I want to know. I want to see. I want to see how strong the skeleton party is. Because if I can just do the same thing, defend and unbound units in, then that's all I'm going to do. I'm going to say fuck the tower. There's nothing I can do about it. I want to see what this looks like. We rise. You just AOE'd them. Alright, you know how we fix that problem? I'm gonna spawn the this I need to see. I need to actually see what the fuck he does. Jesus, man, I don't think we're gonna progress another boss this week. Like, thank fuck he's gonna be, um, Black Fath and- Oh, sorry, uh, Diamond. Then we work on the boss again. Go straight for the tower. The stronghold. Maybe I'll go straight for the tower. Is defending the living shit out of it. I'm gonna go off and on. I'm gonna slowly work that tower. I'm gonna slowly, slowly work on it. And once I've got a good living bomb, I'll fucking use it. Griffin. That Griffin's gonna get close and then we're gonna fucking maul him to death. Wait 
for them. Suck shit. Come on. You suck fucking shit. Back there again. Money, money, money. Yeah. Oh, Shit. This is so tough. Swap them. I'm gonna swap them with the meat wagon. I'm just gonna see if I can just somehow keep the meat wagon alive on top of the bridge to spawn the skeletons down below. I don't know. I really don't know, guys. This is gonna be this is tough. We'll do one to two more attempts. But I have to work on this off stream just to see what the fuck I'm doing. See what I can do. But we'll look at uh, the Plague Lands bosses right after the, the next two attempts. We did pretty good today though, guys. Fuck. How many bosses? Two bosses. Oof. Yeah. Come Two bosses. The intruders. That's a good setup.
Come on, no, they left. Blizzard! No! The stronghold is safe. Oh my god, this is a fucking pain in the ass. It's one of those bosses, man. It's just one of those boss fights where it has nothing to do with the boss, it's everything to do about the units. The, the units are the problem. Jesus Christ. Hmm. This is gonna be fun. Fun, fun, fun. Yes. Big fun. Fuck. Wait, we're gonna we're gonna be stuck in this fucking for a long time. Capture the stuck in this Vitals A plus Ah yeah, it's a bug. <laughs> it's one hundred percent a bug. Blood giving me more, it's only ever giving me eight, it just goes back to um, what it's supposed to be. No, it's been reported, they just need to fix it. Hadouken! Hadouken! These units coming down, ready, living, boom, bah! no opportunity. There's no real opportunity. I did reach it. How am I going to protect it? How am I not going to be able to, How the fuck can I defend the right side and the left side and assault on the left side at the same time? When it's constant air units coming down. And I don't have enough to fight it. <sighs> we'll have to come back to this boss um, tomorrow after the dungeon. We will have to come back. I got. An, I think I got an idea of who it should be. Um, I have to switch to everything to range units. Every fucking unit is a range unit. Um, and I have to level them. There's just, you can't tank your way through this. You can't use core hounds. You can't use footmen. It's just not going to work. Footmen will get destroyed by whelps. Whelps will keep spawning. The whelps spawn all the time. Uh, I need all range units. Almost every fucking range unit. And the only one that should tank is Grom. Grom and maybe Stonehold Torrent. Because Stonehold Torrent can just charge straight to the Huntress. This is a terrible battle. Can't even touch the boss because of that. And the boss also does an AoE. Fun. Fun, fun, fun. The boss. Um, I'm also I'm going to revert back to my original lineup. Just for now. Just to see. See what we're dealing with in Plague Lands. And who knows, we might get an extra boss. Because one of them might could like this could be easy. We just don't know. Do we look? Here we go guys, Plague Lands revealed. Let's do it. Let's see what bosses what they do if we're in trouble. Gish the unmoving. Gish. You don't gish? You like gish? I like gish. Mm. 
out here yeesh only awakens for a worthy adversary don't tell me that it has to be your hero don't tell me it has to be your hero a worthy adversary there's no cheesing this motherfucker boss <sighs> a worthy adversary can I live in bomb the fuck fuck you bitch Stay sharp. What is this map? What is this? what is this map? A ziggurat. So this is Strathcombe. At least he's not regen. Look at that boy. See all that means. <laughs> Anybody for a living bomb cycle? If I could just survive this dumb shit. Everyone's living bombs. Stay sharp. Blood, honor. Living Boomba. How many times can we do this? That's too ready. Oh, that, that, that's too ready for A good boss cycle is when you, uh... We're at six bombs. If you can get six bombs on him, and it kill him just that alone, that's perfect. We're gonna look at him again. This, this doesn't look too tough. Awakens if there's an... So does that mean, is he weaker? Is he weaker than when he wakes up then? Because he's in stone form here. Split units. We can travel three ways, uh, three ways that way. Um, Stay sharp. Blood, honor. Catch. That's interesting. He's a lot stronger, like he's taking no damage there. Like. It's a mix between elemental and physical, so I'm just wondering. I am wondering. I'll do it one more time. Maybe the Wargan's not the best one here. Maybe it's the fucking, um... Maybe it's the skeleton party. Hmm. 
Hmm. Because the skeleton party should be able to just withstand it. This doesn't look too hard. This doesn't look too bad. Like, I think I think I can do this one. Not today, maybe tomorrow, but Get him. Here we go, we're going for a push now. I just need, I need, fuck, I need gold. I need to get the bomb. I need to get a bomb out or else they're all my units are gonna die. No. Where are we? Get rid of him before Bat Raggedy is there. Catch. Okay, I believe we can fight him now. And I'll Come on, stop spawning him! We're gonna go for a kill, guys. We're gonna go for a kill. Just look, look at this, look at this bullshit. We're actually gonna, we're gonna go for it. We're gonna go for it right now. We're gonna go for another kill. The boss kill right here. This is it. Uh, Grom, Scrum gets there, he's gonna spawn. We can hit all of them. We can hit all of them. Wait, what's he doing? Wait, 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 he's coming to fight? Oh, this is phase two. How much damage does he do? Ooh, that hurts. Wait, but he doesn't. He doesn't go for units. This boss fight re re uh, resembles a lot of the, uh, a lot of other bosses. It's just, there's a, it's a shorter distance from there to here. But you know what's funny? I think the skeleton party, with having, a, like, Frost slowing him down before he gets to my tower, I reckon I can beat him. look at the other bosses for now like that's close that's a close one i it looks like tomorrow we'll have to reverse this boss tomorrow because we can just get another boss kill straight up because that's actually looking very promising very very promising we'll do that one tomorrow well, let's look at the other bosses that's looking very promising i reckon i can beat that i need skeleton party though i need the skeleton party because i need the frost
because it didn't look like he was attacking units. He just walked right past my units. Like he just didn't. He was just coming to destroy me. So that's that's phase two. So he's a two phase boss. Two phase boss gets up at half HP. Worthy opponent does not is not activated by the by Grom. Yeah, also this. Oh god. Oh god. What is this gonna be? Haunted units create banshees when they die. What's this? Has possessed these troops to spawn banshees upon death. Oh man. Oh, man. Missed and you're rocking to uh, 50 skulls now. Congrats on the progress. Thanks, man. Yeah, this is yeah. This, this one's tough. The next area is definitely gonna be uh, hard one to beat. I'm not doing the damage. I'm uh, getting absolutely destroyed here. Is he weak? I want to know that. Is he weak? I'm dead. I want to see how strong he actually is. Thirty-two skulls. You know what's funny? We're thirty. Uh, sorry, uh, fifty-two. So we're out of fifty-four now. We're fifty-four skulls. We beat two more bosses today. And now we're looking at plague lands, determining which boss I should beat next. Who dares to I just want to go from easy to the hardest, man. I'm sick of these things. Yeah, fifty-four. Yeah, we did two bosses today. Got to go in eh? Yeah. I know. Does he AOE? I hope he doesn't AOE. He does AOE. That's an AOE attack. Shit! He can possess that. Throwing units out. Nah, I don't know what the fuck I'm doing on this fight. Uh, okay, so this he's actually technically not that strong. I need levels. I need to be able to AOE non-stop. So this, we're not going to be able to fight this boss for a long time. I mean, I could... If I get one summoning stone... If I get one summoning stone, get close enough to get to it. It could be over very quickly, the fight. I'm gonna have a look at this one more time. I just wanna see uh, if I can actually get close to him with more units and just see if I don't have to defend as crazy as I think I do. Because if there's no units to fight, then there's no problem, right? There's no mechanic issue. Who 
Challenge take Challenge me in my domain. Fuck, they're gonna capture that. am I gonna do? I need to use footman in there, for sure. May I ask what uh, levels the other heroes are already? <laughs> nah, they're nowhere near. Like, level, uh, level 14. Pretty much all of them are level 14. So they're nowhere near uh, my Grom. My Grom is so far ahead. So we're not gonna get campaign levels for a long time. Yep. Level 14. I thought it was taking a long time. Okay, let's have a look at uh, Tyrion. Would you prefer any other uh, of your heroes, or own heroes, compared to Grom? Um, I really want to play Jaina. Like, I just got Jaina, but I really want to play her. Um, I don't like playing Rend. I don't like playing Khan. May the light give me I don't mind Baron, but I, f I find Baron like not too difficult, but slightly only only difficult because I don't have the right um, units with him. So Jaina, Maeve, I like playing Maeve. Maeve's not too bad. Uh, Hogger, Ho yeah, Hogger's not too bad. I don't mind Hogger either. Tyrion Fordring, any cleaves through undead skeletons? Just all footmen. Footman healer, footman healer. Okay, well, you're gonna go with them. And you're gonna go with them. Yeah, and you're gonna go this way. He's also got a bat rider. What a piece of shit. What an absolute piece of shit. I need I need nothing like that. Oh, 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 look at this living bomb though. Look at this living bomb. Look at this living bomb <laughs> Oh shit. So there's a mechanic in this one where uh The mechanic on this is magic. Using magic and it'll spawn skeletons. Can you explain the difference between Living Bomb? Living Bomb is instant damage. Uh, Blizzard is damage over time, so it slows people down. So, the more people caught in Living Bomb, the more debuffs I've caught people in, the bigger the explosion and the more damage it's going to be per person that I've caught in the Living Bomb. Alright, I need to work on a second spell on these guys because... There's so many units that come out on this one. I need... My Huntress cannot fight this. Because uh, everyone's a tank in this. So in, a, in general, Living Bomb over Blizzard, it, it's situational. Very, very situational. Very, very situational. There are times where I do wish I had Blizzard, and then there are obviously times where I do wish I had Living Bomb. It's all situational. 
depends on who you're fighting and what you're and what you're fighting. Living bomb. We will all know that living bomb can't destroy tanks, but in in a very large group, a group it's possible. But there are some times where Blizzard can just save your ass as well by slowing units down like crazy. Put your faith in the light. I want to have a look at this again one more time. Tyrion seems to be a solid hero as well. Yeah, he is. Be the light. He's strong. He's Give very me strong. strength. I think he's gonna be the most preferred, and most favorited for everybody. Everybody's gonna want to fucking play him. All my units to get through this. This is obviously the gargoyle boss is the only one I can beat. That's the only one I can beat right now. I can easily tell that I can beat him. Because I need to time it to a point where I can living bomb him and a few more units to get extra damage before he leaves the platform. See Blizzard, see Blizzard would be good on the gargoyle boss, for sure, because you can just constantly drop it on him, slow him down, do it for 10 seconds, a 10 second period, you know, like, that's, that's fucking strong, and if you're Jaina, three extra levels and shit, that's gonna be so fucking strong. Okay, let's see this bullshit, old Ramstein. We'll check out this boss and then we'll call it a night. What's the uh, gargoyle boss doing? The gargoyle boss sits there and does nothing for the first 50% of HP. Then the gargoyle activates at 50% HP and then it, it straight away goes for your barracks. So you got to have enough range units between you and the barracks and the boss. And just hope for the fucking best that you can destroy it. It's a DPS race. Phase 2 is DPS race, and you need to have the DPS. I didn't even have a look at the fuck that happened. Whoa! Just cleaves enemies. Look at that living bomb. Look at how big that living bomb can be. Well, obviously we have to go for towers. I have no choice with that. They're not moving either. Line them up. Line em up. Oh wait, no, they are moving now. Yeah, my units are just severely under leveled. Five levels under is a huge difference. But not for the other boss though. Not for um the yeah, other I need plague farmer. I need poisons to get through this. Let's just see how much damage I can do. This Nothing, that didn't. Sorry, he's he's fucking resistant. He's resistant. Where that that's gonna have to be physical damage. If he did not take that much damage there, it needs to be physical. That means I won't use Living Bomb in this fight later on. I'll have to use uh, 
brute force. Yeah, at least the at least the gargoyle boss is actually easy. Just a DPS fight. Because I would assume my Drake, even though my Drake's low level, my Drake should be able to kill it with the Header Hunter and the Huntress. Or. Eh, yeah, the Huntress. The Huntress can do it. Because once Grom is out, too, she'll be able to fight. Easy. Okay, so that's all the bosses. That's the new ones that we can fight. Um. I'm just going to attempt the Gargoyle boss again, just one more time, just for, just for fucking, you know, just to see if I can actually do it. Uh, actually, I need to change my unit. Uh -huh. Um, the funny thing is I don't need Living Bomb for this fight, I just need uh, more range units. for range or my let's go with dragon let's just give it a go with this let's see what we can do Then after that, we'll call it a night, guys. Side. Stay sharp. Just set up for the right side. We're gonna set up footmen on the right side to get that push going very, very soon. Maybe I do need living bomb because that's what's stopping me. Now. I need living bomb. I'll give it one try with living bomb. I just uh... I just need to figure out which you know. I just want to see how much like damage I can pull off before he gets to my base, and then eventually I'll beat him.
Who don't I need? Um, who don't I need? I don't think I need the Worgen. I need the Skeleton Party more than I need the Worgen. Because I need the Frost. Yeah, I know. I saw that one. It's just normal rubbish today, isn't it, Lance? stream just so I know what the fuck's going on or just do it tomorrow um but yeah so far 54 fucking skulls man 11 bosses left that's it 11 only 11 well I think Nixia is one of them so on Nixia we're gonna be stuck on Nixia for at least a few weeks at least a few weeks I'm not sure if Mike Mike is defeated already, but I'm pretty sure we're going to be stuck in the exact same thing. We're just going to be stuck. Um, that's going to be an interesting progression. That's going to be very interesting to get through. I feel like I need to get every single slot in Grom to gold. The Valor slots, they all need to be gold. They need to be the, they need to be the strongest as possible. Because no matter what, eventually you will beat. Uh, beat her, but yeah. Only 47 skulls for me? Don't worry, you'll, you'll catch up very quickly. Like, that's like, you're only like one week away. I can't kill those stupid gorillas. <laughs> yeah, I was stuck in the gorillas too. I was stuck in gorillas as well.
I was stuck on gorillas for a long time and all I need to do is just get levels and experience. And just use footmen. A lot of footmen. But yeah. Um, fuck, tonight we went very quickly too. Um, but we at least we got these bosses. At least we're out to uh, 54. Uh, what quest do I have? Okay. I'll have to work on getting uh, some of my more, like, more XP on my units. How close am I to the next level? So my Bat Rider's next. My Living Bomb is next. Frostwolf Shaman is next. The Worgen just leveled today. My Meat Wagon's 15. That's good. Okay. Oh, well, that's it for tonight, guys. Uh, I'll work on the fucking other bosses tomorrow, but we do get to see Die More. Die More Dungeoning tomorrow. That's the first thing we do because we need to upgrade our slots. Look how much it costs for the next one 1,600. 1,600 fucking valor. That's, that's one dungeon progression, one level progression. It's gonna be shit. It's gonna be absolutely shit, but. I might lose it the first time around because I need to actually watch back on the VOD how the way the boss fights go, so I'm trying to ace it in one go. And try and get a few levels above. But what I have now that compared to what I didn't have before is Living Bomb, so I should be able to do it. Do you th throw a lower. Uh, do you throw to lower the level a bunch? Not really, I try not to. I try not to. I try to actually defeat it like as soon as possible. But yeah, all right. Um, I might upgrade my range next. To be honest. Okay. All right, guys. Well, that's it for tonight. Uh, I'll see you guys tomorrow, same time. All right. Bye bye.